Hi, we just finished meeting for in, uh, pronunciation practice on Monday, April 10th. <laughs> and I can see on the video now how red my nose is because I was out walking today and it was so sunny and warm. It was definitely feeling like spring. So I'm going to have to wear more sunblock on my nose. Um, we started with all. So for this, remember to open more ah, all. And if you are too fast with the L, it won't be heard and it'll sound like ah. So all. And you'll need that L if you're going to connect it to the following word. All of it. Keep your tongue moving, no stopping, so it can all connect. All of it. And now the earls swirl. So you can start with your lips in a rounded position because you're going to have a W. Swirl. But then you have the earl. I don't know if I can, in my in screen, er, not totally. <laughs> earl. Swirl. So keep making sound, keep making noise in your throat as you go from the R to the L. That's what makes the roll noise. And then hold your tongue uh, in the L position for a little longer time so that it can be heard. Swirl. And then the next words are also um, the same. So whirl. You're just starting with the W. Um, this means to go around, around and around. But it could also mean give it a try. So if somebody says, want to give it a whirl, they mean, do you want to try? Want to give it a whirl? And same whirl. And the same for world. <laughs> but you don't release the D. If you, <clears throat> if, if you have it at the end of the sentence, you just hold it in the D position. World. It's the best in the world holding it there. You wouldn't say world. But you will release the airflow for the D if there's a vowel after it. World of news, something. World of, world da, dove. And then we have, I'm going to go back here, enthusiast. If it's a person, it's an enthusiast, enthusiast. If it's the noun, the feeling, it's enthusiasm enthusiasm. If it's the adjective, now the stress moves to yeah. <laughs> Enthusiastic. Yeah. <laughs> Enthusiastic. I don't know why I spelled this the way that yeah is really spelled when everything else I'm not spelling the way that it usually looks. I'm spelling it the way that it sounds. I thought this might help you remember that it's yeah. And now this small difference between law and low. La, your jaw is very open. Ah, your lips are straight. So you have to open more than you think. If you don't open your mouth enough, it'll sound like la, la, instead of la, la. And then low has the American O, which is two parts. It's not just, um, let me go here. So American O is starting with a. Uh. You don't have to have a rounded O, you can start with a, uh, and then round your lips as you go up to u. So it's a. Uh, you can start o, oh, o, oh, but it's two parts o, oh, not just lo. If you start with your lips rounded and only have the o, oh, then it doesn't sound the same. Lo, and the American lo, o, o. I get it. There's two ways to pronounce this, so I put them on two different lines. One can be ah, like law, so just add the your, lawyer. Or you can make it more rounded and it'll sound like lo, loy, lawyer. Lawyer, lawyer. I want my lawyer, I want my lawyer. Either way, you're totally fine. Liar. Now I, your tongue has to rise very high. Liar. Liar, liar. Pants on fire temporarily. And the rare here, I spelled it like I usually spell air um, to remind you that it's like air, <laughs> but it could also sound like rare if that helps you remember like rare steak. Temporarily, temporarily. And then temporary. One, two, three, four. Temporary. And worthy. This looks like O-R, but sounds like E-R, and I made the T-H bold because it's voiced. Z. Worthy. 
worthy. Make sure you keep your voicing on. You already have it on for the were, and you will have it on again for the e. So just keep it on the whole time. Worthy. Suit. This can be like, um, well, it could be a lawsuit. <laughs> Law came up a lot tonight. Or it could be a suit that you wear. Suit. And I put this little mark here to remind you to hold the T instead of suit. Just hold it. Suit. This one is shoot. The same oo sound, but spelled with two O's and um, the sh at the beginning. Suit. Shoot. This, if you add an E to the word suit, it becomes sweet. <laughs> the same exact sound as sweet taste. So you can also use sweet as an adjective, like that's cool. So if you saw somebody with a cool suit, you could say, what a sweet suit. And if it, they had a, uh, this suite could be like a hotel room. So if they had a really cool hotel room, it would be a sweet suite. <laughs> sue. I'm going to sue you. Get my lawyer. <laughs> could also be a person's name. Sue. Awesome. This is fun. We had this last week too, and it's fun. We should have awesome on every day. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Ye um, down here, yeast. This is like for um, cooking. You need uh, yeast for bread. Yeast. So if you have trouble finding the Y position, ye, it's a very small movement. Ye, ye. Put your tongue like you're going to say year, and that kind of helps. Year, yeast. Year, yeast. That might help you find the ye position. And shot. With just one O, shoot becomes shot. It can be the past tense of the verb shoot, or it could be uh, the short drink. Do you want to do a shot? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's a good place to stop. All right. Thanks. It was fun. And I hope to see you tomorrow or maybe next Monday or anytime you can. Thanks.